Welcome to the New England Journal of Medicine at the annual meeting of the European Society of Cardiology. I'm Stephen Morrissey, Executive Managing Editor, and I'm talking with Deputy Editor Jane Leopold and Editor-in-Chief Eric Rubin. We're looking at the Helios B trial, Vutisiran in patients with transthyretin amyloidosis with cardiomyopathy. Jane, there have been several studies of agents for treating transthyretin amyloidosis. What was different about this one? Uh, that's a great question, Steve. This study evaluated the efficacy of the siRNA vutricerin for patients who had transthyretin amyloidosis and cardiomyopathy. And so while this siRNA is already approved to treat patients with polyneuropathies, its effect on cardiomyopathy isn't known. Eric, how did the study work and, and what did they find? This was a double-blind randomized controlled trial in which the patients with cardiomyopathy due to transthyretin, were randomized to either vutriceran or placebo, administered every 12 weeks for up to 36 months. The primary endpoint was a composite of all-cause mortality and recurrent cardiovascular events. The investigators enrolled more than 650 patients and found that there were 125 primary events in the vutriceran group and 159 in those treated with placebo for a statistically significant hazard ratio of 0.72. Both components, mortality and cardiovascular events, were numerically lower in the treatment group. Jane, is this the first agent that's shown a mortality reduction in patients with transthyretin amyloidosis? In fact, it is. Um, in this study, in the overall study population, patients who got treated with futricerin had a lower or reduced risk of all-cause mortality and a reduced risk of cardiovascular events compared to the placebo group. However, when they looked at the patient population, about 40% of patients in each arm were being treated with tefamidus, which is a transthyretin stabilizer agent at the time of enrollment. When they looked at the patients who were not being treated with tefamidus, in other words, these are the patients who were being treated with futricerin alone, there was no difference in all-cause mortality between the treatment group and the placebo group, but there was a reduction in cardiovascular events. Jane, I know we're at ESC, and this is all about cardiology, but patients, even those who have cardiomyopathy due to transthyretin, often have other organ systems involved. Do we know what the responses are in their other disease to treatment with this agent? Well, we don't know so much from the results of this study and what was done here, but there are some things that we can infer. And that is that, it, you know, for patients, when they do a six-minute walk distance, that can actually be improved if their polyneuropathy was improved. The other organ systems per se were not looked at. So we'll have to wait for other studies in order to get that information. Thank you, Jane. And thank you, Eric. This study was just published at NEJM.org.